place to be to keep cool out there. A live look from our Inn at Spanish Head Resort Hotel in Lincoln City. Thanks for watching Afternoon Live. There's so much going on with COVID lately, and here with an update about the Delta COVID variant is cardiologist and medical researcher Dr. Ernst von Schwarz is with us today. Dr. Ernst, thanks for joining us again. Hi, Kara. Thanks for having me on. Constantly changing. Talk about this new variant and the dangers. Well, right now we have the Delta variant and uh, the vast majority of the new cases we are seeing are all Delta variants. And I got actually a call a few days ago from someone in Texas who asked me, oh, how do we even know it's the Delta variant? We do know because there's um, a genetic sequence and testing available and in one of the hospitals I'm working, there's hundreds of those performed every single day. And I can assure you that 99% of the current cases are caused by the Delta variant. And we have a significant increase in numbers, same as you in Oregon, here in California, with 13,000 new cases in the state on a daily basis. That's uh, 400 times the number of we saw a month ago. Have it, has it changed whether being vaccinated or unvaccinated? Obviously, a lot more safe to be vaccinated, but are you seeing many numbers of those being vaccinated actually getting the COVID variant as well? Well, the vast majority of the people hospitalized are unvaccinated uh, candidates, and these are more than 90%. We do see some vaccinated people who get the Delta variant, and very few of them are admitted to a hospital because of respiratory distress. Usually, they don't get less sick, but most importantly, the number of deaths among the vaccinated ones is very, very small. That's way less than 0.1% compared to the unvaccinated people. So even though you're vaccinated, you can get breakthrough cases and we see some of them, of course, everybody does in the country and all over the world right now, but the course is usually less harmful compared to those unvaccinated people. Can we talk about children, especially that younger group? Is there a difference in how they're reacting and the symptoms um, of this COVID variant of the Delta and these younger children who cannot get the vaccination? Well, we don't, I'm, I'm an adult cardiologist, so I really don't deal much with children, except with my own, of course. But um, we don't see many children. Um, I know from my pediatric colleagues that they, they see more infections in children, but mostly, thanks God, they don't have to be admitted to the hospital. However, in the hospitals now, the vast majority we are seeing in the intensive care units on respirators are young people between the ages of 18 and 45. If it's not the older generation, like several months, in December and January, for example, it's the younger people who get more seriously sick. I don't have much information on children, but I don't think it's a big issue with, the, with regard to the severity of the disease. Is there an up, a vaccination update? Is anything changing in the realm of vaccinations? Well, I think the number one thing is we, we don't have enough people vaccinated. And I personally had uh, just over a week ago, uh, I remember two patients sitting in my office and they said, I'm not a guinea pig. I don't want to get that uh, jabs in my arm, that needle, I, that's experimental. I don't want it. Those two people are in an intensive care unit now on a respirator and who knows if they even will survive. I hope they do. But um, I mean, there's in, in California, there's 53% of people vaccinated right now, those who are eligible. And that's by far not enough. We need more vaccination efforts and we need uh, getting the people's minds straightened by the scientific facts rather than by some uh, social media uh, announcements, which are usually wrong. The vaccines is that's still the best protection. We know even with the vaccine, we can get the virus and we know that even vaccinated people can transmit the virus we never said anything different but usually it's it's not as long lasting as if you are unvaccinated and that's important to know because if you don't want the vaccine only for yourself think about your community think about your families and your children because if you if you you don't want to get sick you still can get can get other people sick. Mm -hmm. And the other news is, of course, everybody is talking about now a potential booster vaccine six months after the second messenger RNA vaccination for Pfizer and Moderna. In Israel, that is just started that people do the booster vaccines with those two vaccine types. Other countries in Western Europe are thinking about it. We are thinking about it. It's not 
uh, common practice yet, but I have no doubt that sooner or later we will need a booster vaccine. So many more questions I have. We are out of time. Dr. Ernst von Schwarz, thank you so much. Thanks for having me on, Kara. Mm -hmm. All the best. And we'll have more information about Dr. Ernst on our website at KATU.com, but don't go away. Afternoon Live will be right back after this. <laughs>